Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Biz. I'm Tatiana and today I'm going to share with you creating labels, uh, barcodes and FNSKU stickers and any kind of labeling you need for your Amazon FBA business. So this is a demo basically. I'm going to show you the printer I use. I'm going to show you how I use it. But before I actually go down and show you that, I first want to get into FNSKU sticker or UPC barcode. Because I think a lot of people get confused with Amazon FBA. There's so many different kinds of labels that you can have on your physical product. And I'm just going to tell you that, you know, a UPC barcode is essential. It's really important if you have a physical product because this is how, you know, this is universal. And so, you know, you could have the UPC barcode attached to your product. You know, you should just have one in general. Everyone should have a UPC barcode for their products. Because, you know, if you decide to sell in retail, you're going to need that. If you decide to open up your own fulfillment center and, you know, sell on your own website, you're going to need that. So it's good to have the UPC barcode. But when you're on Amazon, you get to choose when you're creating your listing, what is your unique identifying item. So this is basically what you tell Amazon, okay, my products are either going to have a UPC barcode or an Amazon barcode, which is the FNSKU sticker and you can choose. I prefer to do that UPC barcode because I also send my inventory to fulfillment centers where I sell on my website. So if I decide one day, you know, I was gonna ship it to Amazon, but all of a sudden midway through shipment, I decide, no wait, I'm gonna intersect it and send it to my fulfillment centers. I can do that because I don't have to relabel all the products because they don't have the Amazon barcode, they have the UPC barcode, which I use everywhere. So that's always a good option. But the thing with that is if you have a product and you do not have brand registry, then your inventory can get mixed up with other people's inventory. So if you sell the same product as a lot of different sellers, then the inventory can get mixed up, which is not good. This happens most of the time with retail arbitrage. So if you're selling this thing and you have a UPC barcode and there's like 30 other sellers, then they're basically gonna get chucked into the same bin and if yours was in perfect condition but someone else's was broken and they receive that person's item, then you're gonna get the negative review. So it's kind of good to have the Amazon barcodes because that will prevent that because that's unique for your product. So that's just optional. So if you choose to use an Amazon FNSKU sticker, that is your choice. But on the product itself, you can only have one barcode. So you wanna make sure that you pick one and you don't have both. So even if you have a UPC barcode associated with your product, you can still choose to make your unique differentiating item your FNSKU sticker, and you can have that placed onto your product. I would actually recommend to have your UPC barcode integrated in your product packaging. So it's not a sticker, it's actually in your label design. And then you could just stick on top of it whatever you want. So you could stick on top your FNS Kids you use sticker if that's what you want. I know this is a mouthful and I know that a lot of people who aren't in this situation right now won't understand anything I just said, but if you are in this situation, you probably will understand and I know it's confusing. To summarize, basically you can choose to have a UPC barcode or an FNSKU sticker to put on your product packaging for Amazon. I would recommend to have your UPC barcode integrated into your product label and then what you can do is if you choose to have the FNSKU sticker, you can just put that on top of where your UPC barcode is on your label so it doesn't show. Because basically Amazon, when the products arrive at their warehouse, they only wanna see one barcode that they can scan. They don't wanna see two or three or four barcodes. That's gonna be a waste of time for them. So just have one barcode that shows and you don't even need to have the FNSKU sticker. That's optional, you really don't need it. And if you're not doing retail arbitrage, I don't really think it's necessary. You could just use your UPC barcode. Okay, having said that, let's head downstairs where I have my Dymo label printer. And this is where I print my labels. Now, if you're private labeling, your manufacturer is probably gonna print your labels for you, but it's always good to have a label printer at home. For example, if you have orders that are removed from the Amazon warehouse, for example, returns or exchanges or whatever it is, and they get shipped to your house, but they're in perfect condition and you wanna send them back to Amazon, you wanna make sure that they have the proper labeling. And if they don't have the right barcodes or if you repackage them, then you're gonna to have to print out new barcodes. And so it's always handy to have a printer like that. So let me just show you how it works. 
All right, so this is my Dymo label printer. So this is the Label Writer 450 Turbo. I love this thing really good. And here I have a UPC barcode. So this is actually a barcode for one of my products, one of my SKUs. And I'm gonna show you how I can print that on this label right here using Dymo. So it actually takes a while to figure this out because it prints in all sorts of different directions and it's very confusing. So hopefully this will speed track that process of learning for you. You have to open up your Dymo app. So there's a software that you download. You can go to dymo.com and download it if you haven't already. And then what you wanna do is you wanna to go to labels and you wanna click on multi-purpose labels, which is already selected right there. And then you want to hit on, well, it just depends on what size you have here. For me, I personally have the medium. So I hit on medium. I'm not going to save that one. Uh, no. And so this is my label right here. So now they have this option here, which is a screen grab. So this is where the gold is. So you click on screen grab, automatically it kind of turns away and it gives you that option. And so now you basically just take a picture of your label. And this is totally scannable, which is cool. As soon as you take a picture, it automatically shows you here if you wanna crop anything, make it bigger, smaller. I just insert it as is, but then it's really small. And this is the thing that took so long to figure out because I'm not able to move it or make it bigger or adjust it or anything like that. And I couldn't figure out for the life of me how to do that. The trick is you have to go to this tab, insert. The moment you go to this tab, you can now edit the size of this barcode. <laughs> so now you just make it as big as you want. And then you choose how, many how much quantity you want. So one, two, three, and then you just hit print. And, oh, I haven't connected it. So there's a USB here. So I have to connect this to my computer. All right, so I've got my USB in now. So let's see if that will work. I might have to actually restart this. Okay, and I'm gonna hit print. Okay, so there it is. It actually, so this one didn't come out that well. So let's try that again. Wanna make sure that it comes out the right way. And by the way, you can change direction by clicking this here. So up, vertical or horizontal. So let's just hit print again. That's better. So there you go, that's your label. And you can literally do anything with this software. So you can create your own text. You can even add little uh, shapes and images. So clip art, different things here. So that's what I would do. And so then I would pop this onto my product and then I would ship it to Amazon. So hopefully that was a quick tutorial for you guys. Very simple. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and I'll be sure to answer them. Have a great day.